Good morning, everyone. I'm Rosie Chu, and welcome to Bay Area People. Now, we're planning to have some fun today with an amazing event. We're learning how to make tamales. So get ready to enjoy a taste of tamales by the bay, a benefit event that will make your tummy happy. Then let's move together to fight against arthritis. There are several arthritis walks coming up in the Bay Area. Please stay with us. We'll be back after this message. Your tummy will absolutely thank you if you fill it with all kinds of tasty tamales from an upcoming Taste of Tamales by the Bay. Now, it's a fundraising effort that will benefit Benchmark Institute. With me now is Giselle Osorio. She is the owner of Sabor del Sur. She, it is a catering business here in the Bay Area, and she makes how many kinds of tamales? I actually make just one. But at the, at the event, it's going to be about... 10, 12 different... Uh, so a whole bunch of but you whole made, bunch. You made kind of one, but one Just is, one. Is, is from where? What country? S from Chile. From Chile. I'm from South America, and we specialize in South American cuisine. Okay. And this is a called Omita. Omita. And yes. what is the... What is it made of? It's made out of corn. It has some chopped onions and basil, so it's very summery, very summer in it's light, kind of light meal, huh? very yeah. light. So you were telling me before that this is a vegan? Yes. Because oh, it has no meat. It has no meat and it has no lard, like normal tamales. Really? Yes. Oh, so it's healthier. It's healthier. Oh, right, I like that. <laughs> okay, so show us how to do this now, because you, you pre-prepare the, the, the main ingredient. Yeah, I pre-prepare it because it, it would take too long. Okay. And so I cook uh, uh, eight corns, okay. and then I, I took them out of the house and put them in the food processor. I chopped two onions. Mm -hmm. and just saute them for a while until they were uh, nice and brown mm -hmm. with a little bit of um, oil. That's and it. and then wow. when I was in the fruit processor, I put some basil in it. That's and it. that's it, okay. salt and pepper. So you gave me a couple of corn husks. Yes. All right. All right. And so what do I do with this now? We just put them together. <laughs> so I have two and I open Yeah, we have up. two. We're going to open them up. Okay. This, you can, uh, the corn over here comes most of the time with very little leaves mm -hmm. or husks. Well, that's the way you guys call it. Right. Right. <laughs> you know me and my translations. Um, so you can buy them when you make tamales. You can buy them in any Latino store by the package. Yeah, I've seen them. Or dry them. Exactly. Yeah. So you, have to you have to wet them okay. and let them sit in water for a while. Right. Warm water will work better. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the mix that I make. Okay. We're going to put, I'm going to show you. We're going to put two. It, this is fresh, so. Um, it's pretty moist. It's pretty moist. It's, because it's corn. And corn in America is very moist. Okay. Not like in South America, that is it's huge oh. thin and very dry. Okay, so I'm going to try my own two heaping yes. spoonfuls, right? Exactly. Okay. And then we're going to fold it in. So and we call it, actually we call it like, if we translate it, a bow tie, because we're going to try to do a bow tie with this. Okay. And so we I put it forward to, uh, and then overlap them in he again okay. over here. So it's, just, it's almost like uh, doing a wrap. Yes. You know? It's like a doing a wrap. wrap. Exactly. Okay, now I fold it up. And then we fold it up from the other side. Okay. And then we have this little tie. Oh, that okay. I give you one over I there. Tie. And we're going to tie it. Um, Trying to keep it all together. Let's see how you tie this. Okay, I've got a short tie. Oh, I'm sorry. I can <laughs> make you another one. <laughs> I've got a short tie. I can't tie it enough. <laughs> I gave you another one because I tied okay. it really hard in there. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to seed them in the uh, steam pot. Okay, so let's... So, so this is... Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. Yeah. And to make ties, you just cut from the longest one. One. Ah. Two pieces. Uh -huh. Put them together. Make a little knot. So you're tying them together at the end. Exactly. Okay. And then and then you just send for a tie. Oh, okay. That's longer. So now, okay, so now I'm going to try and tie mine up here. You're doing very good. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hey, for the first one. For the first one, not bad. You know, after 50 or 100, you'll, you'll get it. <laughs> okay. That's how many we make most of the time at the Tamales by the Bay, where you can taste all kinds of So tamales. I understand that there are several vendors who are making several different kinds. Yes. Even and chocolate, I heard. And we have a, a variety. And I have to tell you, I've never seen or never had a sweet tamale before. Yeah, that's very Mexican. And we have something here that, I mean, we, people have to see it. So I'm going to hold this up. This is pink and it's strawberry. Yes. 
So what's inside? Strawberries. So they they, they chop their strawberries and they put a. I think they put sugar on that one. I don't I don't make it so, but I think okay. that's why they do. They chop the strawberries and they mix it with. And we uh, have another one here. Yeah, we have a black bean one. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste that. Let's see if I can open this up and just see what it looks like on the inside. And they they mix it with the whole masa. So really, oh, so it's really just pink, and there's a little yeah, bit of strawberries Yeah, it gets pink because, right of, because of the strawberries. Yeah, yes. very good. Interesting. And we have one here, too, which is, is this savory? It's savory, and it's made of, that looks pork. It looks like it's pork, and it's beautiful Ooh, It's beautiful. Wow. That's from Guatemala, I believe. Uh-huh. So, so we're, we're yeah, they have all okay. kinds. Central America is very huge in tamales. All right, so we, so we have the finished product, and... In order to cook these, you have to, what, steam them? I steam them for about 30 minutes because it's corn, so it okay. doesn't need that much. And after you steam them, you serve, you know, you can put them like this. Right. And in Chile, it's very oh, summery. Okay. It's, you know, we have better corn in summer. And this time. is something that you, you cooked this morning? I cooked it uh, two hours ago, actually. Two hours ago, oh, good. And because of the basil, it's very Ooh. fresh. And we s good. normally serve it with a... Uh, um, Chili and tomato salad. Uh oh, so the chili and tomato salad is very light. It's tomatoes, tomatoes onions. onions. We wash the onions. We press them and then we wash them, and a little bit of parsley. Parsley. Some. Oh, we don't have another spoon. Oh well, pretend that we're in the kitchen. Just like Julia Charles says, nobody's She's in the gonna kitchen. She's going to eat it all exactly. anyway. <laughs> um, and and we mix we mix it all up. And then simple. It's very simple, but you will find that it, all together, okay. it just. And those are Go white onions? Uh, yellow, yellow onions. onions. Yellow onions. Yellow onions. onions. But you okay. press them. You so press make, them. No, wait yeah. a minute. When you say press them, what do you mean? You just squeeze them, all, all the juices out, and then oh, wash yeah. them. Let them sit in, in water for a little bit. Uh -huh. And cold water, that way they come all crispy again. Wow. But they don't have that I've harsh never heard taste of, that. of them. Very good. We just learned something. So Terrific. It's very colorful mm. and very healthy. No, the thing is, this is a fundraiser for this organization yes. that helps other nonprofits, yes. right? Yes. And it's uh, you have I heard up to eighteen varieties of tamales. Yes, I had no idea there were so many. Let's tell people how to find out about this. So we want you to plan ahead for the taste of tamales by the bay at Fort Mason Center in San Francisco. It will be Sunday, April twenty sixth, from noon to four thirty p.m. And it is a benefit for Benchmark Institute, which is a nonprofit that helps other nonprofits use the law to become lo to help low income communities. So visit benchmarkinstitute.org slash tamales for details about the event. And of course, visit us at ktvu.com uh, slash community for today's guest information. We run out of time. I get to taste all this wonderful food that Giselle gave us. So thank you. We'll Please. be back next week with another edition of Bay Area People. Until then, I'll see you soon. Have a terrific weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.